You never went to college, did you? Nope. All this talk about free college, free college, and you can't make it unless you went to college. How far in high, high school. school did you go? Finished the ninth grade. Ninth grade? Yeah. Then what happened? Um, I, a little bit of job here. I started buying and selling stuff. Uh, basically educated myself. Um, and then um, I'd always been buying and selling stuff. My dad had a little coin shop. Uh, and I wanted a pawn shop. Uh, so um, I went down to City Hall. And they told me, no, you can't get a pawn shop. In Las Vegas. In Las Vegas. And um, I asked them why. And they... Um, pulled out the city code, and apparently what happened in 1955, the good old boys got together, and um, they passed a city ordinance that when the city population got to a quarter of a million, they would issue one more pawn license. Um, and uh, when, when, they issued, when they made this law, there's only 25,000 people living in Vegas, they thought it was never going to happen. So I'm 22 years old, and uh, you know, pawn license, if someone has one for sale back then, it was... 500,000, 700,000, something like that. Um, and I definitely couldn't afford that. So um, once I read this law, I'm going, city, it's got to be close to that now for the city proper there. So I started calling the city statistician once a week. And then in April of 88, he said, yeah, we think it's a quarter of a million. So you know, I'm no longer a naive 22-year-old. I'm a naive 23-year-old. I go down to city business license. It's a quarter of a million. I want my license. They didn't give it to me, but... Six months later, a judge said he was the first one there, give him the license. You had to go to court to get a license to open a store. Yes. Um, and uh, the rest is sort of history. Well, let's talk a little bit about the history. So you finished the ninth grade. Yeah. And you're self-educated. Yeah. You read, you read, you read. Yeah. What did you read? Um, well, I mean, it'll, it'll go back to when I was a kid. I mean, um, I was a really sick kid. Um, I... I developed epilepsy when I was eight years old, and um, I'd have violent seizures, and I would, uh, I, literally, I couldn't get out of bed. Uh, I couldn't walk, sometimes I couldn't walk for a week or two, and um, my mom um, went to the library. I mean, we were lower middle income. My dad was in the Navy. He was in Vietnam. My mom was trying to sell real estate on the side. We didn't have a lot of money. And you were in San Diego back then. Yeah, San Diego. And, you know, this is 1973. There was no cable. There's no kids programming on television. And we definitely didn't have the money for more than one TV in the house. So um, I, my mom went and got me a set of books um, that was sort of kismet. This really like changed my life. Um, she went to the library, and it was uh, John D. Fitzgerald's The Great Brain. It was about an eight-year-old kid growing up in Utah in the 1890s, coming up with all these little schemes to make money. <laughs> and I just devoured the books. I, I, I think there was like eight books in the series. I read them in a in a week or two. And um, I just fell in love with reading ever since then. I mean, I was 12 years old. I was going to the library and checking out books on physics. So you're self-educated mostly through books that you've read on your own. Yeah. Um, and so when we watch you on your show, uh -huh. Lawn Stars, and you see things come in and you know a little bit of, hit, you know a little bit of the background, the stuff that you've read in the past kind of clicks in. Um, yeah, it's uh, because I don't really get into fiction. Mm -hmm. I, it's always been science books. Uh, it's been history books. I mean, like, I, one of the jokes I tell is I read the history of batteries twice. <laughs> I found it so fascinating. And um, to this day, I still read things like that. And um, it's once you develop a really diverse, you know, knowledge in your head, um, you can, when you see something, you can the start Harrison figuring things out, I guess. have come out to tell TMZ that they are extremely very saddened by the death of their son, Adam. They said we asked for privacy as we grieve the loss of our son, Adam, who was 39 years old. Adam is one of Rick's three kids, all by the way, they are boys, and he's been mostly off the radar in terms of uh, the Rick's show and, of course, the store. What is Adam helped out the world famous gold and silver pawn shop once upon a time bar was since step away to do his own thing. Some sources say he was a plumber, but of course he does not appear to have been featured in any of the episodes from what we can see. Rick had two kids with his first wife, that is Kim Corey, and of course he had also a son, Jake, with his second wife, Tracy. Well, Rick's olden son, Corey, is heavily involved in porn stars, 
first appearing on the reality show way back in 20, 2009, Adam mostly remained out of the spotlight. With Adam never really getting involved in the show, there is not a lot of information known about him. Though some folks have claimed that he had been living, like I've told you, as a plumber. So we've heard um, that he had worked professionally in some kind of trade, but of course, no official job has been shown specifically in this exact moment in time. We send our deepest condolences to Adam's family and of course, Rick's family, because we all know they are going through a very tough time. Rest in power, the king, Adam Harrison.